Okay. While we're still waiting for this deck to dry, there's other parts of the car that can be worked on. Uh, let me see if I can find my rust here. Rust? Yes, Flo uh, uh, Testers Corporation, which also now owns Floquel, which, <laughs> which is now owned by a Canadian firm, does do a pretty terrific job. Of, you know, they, they started making like these brush-on metalizers like steel and aluminum and, and copper and colors like that and brass. And they've also made some weathering colors, uh, you know, and, 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 and that's really wonderful. Uh, they also have rust, which, you know, for dry brushing, uh, we're going to do a little bit of dry brushing here. As long as I grab that tank car from the side, or that flat car from the sides, I will be fine. If I, if I get my hand all over the deck, I'm going to be unhappy. But then again, this video would then never see the light of day. Okay, you dip in the paint, and then put your brush onto your paper towel until you barely have any anything on it. That's This is called dry brushing. What it does is you're going to go over the truck and basically what you're going to be doing is painting the relief on that truck. As you can see, if you can see, I may have to put the light on here. If you can see that at all, you can see that this truck now has some rust on it and this one does not. It, it, it's a little bit dark so you may not have been able to see it but in, in light of everything you just want to, to highlight the details. Now you may want to highlight the sides a little bit as well. Just take and right along the bottom there, just take and dry brush a little rust. Some, you, some, sometimes you're going to end up with a good rust splotch on there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty decent. Okay. The real thing would certainly rust up a little bit like that. It's not a hard thing to do, and by the way, you're, you you probably will again just start on the trucks because that's where you want the bulk of your rust paint to go is on the trucks. Yes, I know it doesn't stick real well to the to the trucks. And it's okay if it splotches up a little bit. It doesn't hurt it. One of the nice things about dry brushing is you cannot do it identical on both sides. It's going to come up a little differently on one side than it did the other. And that turned out fine. And remember, I said that we were going to use washes here. This is how we're going to do it. Now I'm going to leave this jar of thinner open. I'm going to uh, use the gray. Flat gray. That is, if I can get it to stir up. <laughs> Some of these paints have been sitting out here in the in the shed all summer long last year, and of course, the temperatures went sky high, like you wouldn't believe. So the paint tends to collect at the bottom of the jar as usual, and sometimes it actually goes bad. 
that's one of the bad things about uh, you know the environment that my railroad is is built in. It's just one of those things, folks. Okay, we'll keep that open. That needs steel. Uh, here we go, flat tan. Flat brown. Which when I get to work on the deck again, the flat brown will come in very, very handy. As will the flat tan. Because they're a little bit different colors than the wood color that I originally used. And uh, they will, you know, they will work in, oh yes, flat black. Let's not forget the flat black. Flat black is probably, even though the car is already painted black, flat black is one, always one of your most important, uh, if, if you can call it that, colors in the color spectrum when it comes to weathering. And uh, creating a wash. And, of course, the idea here is to get things to mix together. I can tell by the clock it's about time to uh, call this one it, so we're going to complete this, this task in the next video. Howdy. Welcome back to Weathering 101. We're going to uh, go ahead now and, and proceed with our with putting the washes on the side of the car. Dip in the paint. I'm going to go with a little gray to start. And, whoops, not, not a bad thing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it if it gets on the deck. It's not going to hurt nothing. Ah. As you can see, it's starting to to gel a little bit there, if you will. Kind of like my deck. It hasn't dried yet. Humidity must be getting up there. Now I'm going to come back in with a little flat black. Get most of the paint off of the brush. This is not dry brushing, this is washing. At this point we're just trying to get the car nasty and dirty. Just like the real thing, huh? Don't forget to get the ends of the car. The ends of the car, it's, a, it's very important to get the ends of the car. You'll notice I don't clean the brush off between. The idea behind having doing these washes or a series of washes. As you can see, uh, of course, it's not dry yet, but as you can see, it's starting to come. It's starting to come through. It's starting to gel a little bit. It's starting to look more like a uh, a car that's in use. 